This is the next generation of our uh, very popular pocket cinema camera, which many of you may use, may have used. Um, the pocket cinema was HD. This one is 4K, so you actually get a Ultra HD and DCI frame sizes on this. You're shooting it up to 60 frames a second. Um, there is an HDMI output here. There's uh, power in. There's a battery, a standard uh, Canon style battery. Um, the great thing is you've got the touch screen on the back here, which is the same exact operating system that we use in our larger cameras. So if you've ever used an Ursa Mini or anything like that, same exact menus here. So you can see I've got my clips on my project. It's all touch screen. So I can uh, swipe to show and hide the things that I want to see. I get everything there. It's got an MFT lens mount. Um, the sensor is a full two-third inch size sensor with 13 stops of dynamic range. But the really cool thing about this is there's a USB-C port right here on the side. So you could take a USB-C hard drive, an SSD hard drive, plug it into this thing and record directly to that hard drive. What? Raw, 12-bit tw lossless raw um, or ProRes. It comes with a free copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio. <laughs> and it's $12.95. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 15. We've, uh, we've done a bunch of really big things this year. First is we've completely integrated Fusion, which was previously available as a separate high-end visual effects and motion graphics application. It's been used in Hollywood for film and television for years. That's now built into DaVinci Resolve, so you don't have to import, export, or, or translate files to go in and out of VFX and to work on your shots. So that's the first big thing. Second thing is uh, tons of new Fairlight audio features. So last year we added Fairlight audio to Resolve, and that was sort of the first version of it. And now it's really maturing, and Mary's going to show you some awesome new features. And then the third sort of big thing that we've done is we've been out here in the community uh, in LA and all over the world actually talking to customers and professional editors and colorists. And we've put in nearly 100 new features that you guys have specifically asked us to put in. So we are um, really trying to be very attentive to the community and really build the software that you guys want. Fusion does like processor and RAM. Um, and Resolve in general likes GPUs. So the more uh, system resources you can give it, the ab absolutely the faster it will be. So if you've got a new iMac Pro with 10 or 18 cores and the Radeon Vega and 128 gigs of RAM, it's a screamer. Now, if you are used to working with, say, a certain set of bins that you always use for every single project over and over and over again, well, we now um, let you go in and you can actually create a folder with like audio, day one, day two, day three, your dailies, camera A, B, C, day one, two, three, timelines, effects. And I can say, you know what? I want to just bring all of that stuff into Resolve so I can drag that in and boom, my bins are automatically set up. Because Fusion is 3D, you can import 3D um, models. That could be a corporate logo. You can customize the box, the color, the lights, the shading. <laughs> Spin, twist, and drift. We're very literal. And uh, if you saw Avengers, there you go. You could have two editors. One could be working on one timeline. One could be working on another one. You can have an audio person working on a third timeline. When it comes to color and visual effects, though, this is where it gets really interesting. You can have multiple colorists and multiple VFX artists working on shots that are in the timeline with an active editor at any time. So they can be doing color corrections. They can be adding visual effects. And as that stuff happens, you get little circular refresh icons on the clips. And you just refresh the icon on the edit page. And you see the most current version. We also, if you're in that particular situation, um, and let's say somebody is working on, some, on something that's pretty computationally intensive, we have a new bypass grades button at the top. So you can see if I turn that off, my extra spaceship goes away because we added that on the color page. So your editor can uh, dedicate all of their computational resources to just editing. They don't have to see all that stuff. Um, for collaboration, we also have a built-in chat tool, which would show up down here. So you can uh, securely message other people on the team that are working and ask them to do things. Uh, we have bin and timeline locking, so you don't step over each other. So you can own a bin, and then other people can see it, but they can't change it until you unlock it. We've done a lot of really small things that editors are going to care about that are really just going to make your everyday life living in this application a lot easier and a lot smoother. DaVinci Resolve uh, 15, there's a free version. And this is all public beta, so you can download it today and try it. So the free version um, does just about everything that I showed you today. DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is $2.99, and I noticed in the list of prizes this evening, um, it is less than the annual subscription for most of your plugins. 
So the app is $2.99 and you buy it. There's no subscription, there's no cloud, there's no licensing. You buy it. Um, so what does $2.99 get you? $2.99 gets you um, a bunch of really cool filters and effects that I showed you. So the clone tool that I used, the film grain stuff, the revival stuff, temporal and spatial noise reduction, blur and mist effects. Um, it gives you stereoscopic 3D support. It gives you multiple GPU support. It gives you collaboration. So if you're working with multiple users, it also lets you, um, the free version will only export or render projects out up to Ultra HD resolution. If you're gonna work in 4K or DCI, any DCI frame size, you need DaVinci Resolve Studio. And honestly, if you're working on a project like that, you should pay for it, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, you should pay for it. It's, it's $2.99. It's $2.99, that's it. And we have never charged for an upgrade. So if you bought DaVinci Resolve 9 or 10 or 11 or 12, you can just download and use it. $2.99, that's it. <laughs>